it's kind of a nightmare to to be honest with you a living nightmare that's how families across the country are describing the baby formula shortage store shelves all over the u.s depleted i'm mike montecalvo and i'm shannon heggie so what should or shouldn't you do if you can't find your child's formula 12 news reporter kim colonian spoke with a local pediatrician has more on what the white house says it's doing in response kim well, Hasbro's Dr. Phyllis Dennery tells me she has never seen anything quite like this in her career as supply chain issues and a massive recall resulting in the closure of a huge manufacturing plant continue to wreak havoc on the stock of this critical product. Um, it was the first issue White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki addressed at Thursday's briefing. Uh, President Biden has directed the administration to work urgently to ensure that infant formula is safe and available for families across the country. Critics say the Biden administration has been too slow to respond to the baby formula crisis sweeping the country, but the White House insists it's a priority and says the president spoke with retailers and manufacturers Thursday to figure out how to solve the problem. Among the proposed solutions, the FDA is now poised to make an announcement about importing baby formula from abroad, but federal officials were not able to say exactly when shelves would be stocked again. So what can parents do in the meantime? Hasbro's pediatrician in chief, Dr. Phyllis Dennery, says do not be tempted to follow the recipes you see on social media to make your own formula at home. Absolutely not. Please don't. Some people might say, oh, well, I'll use goat milk or cow's milk. Up till age one, babies are supposed to only have either breast milk, that's the best, or if there's no breast milk formula, and it's bad to water down formula to try and stretch it further. It has too much water. And for an infant, that can result in the brain getting too much water and getting swollen and seizures happening. So what should you do if you can't find formula? Dr. Dennery says consult with your pediatrician who might have access to additional stores of formula. If possible, breastfeed your baby. And if your child is over six months, supplement their formula with baby food. But all of this should be done with the pediatrician's recommendations. Can't be done with something they read on the internet. Please, that's, that's usually not such good information. And the Better Business Bureau is also warning parents to be on the lookout for online scams, urging you to be extra vigilant of sellers on social media who are just looking to profit off of parents' panic. In the studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.